It's the last day to order your Merry Bridgemas knitted sweater with standard delivery. After today, you'll need to select Rush Delivery to guarantee delivery before the big day. I just said delivery a lot of times. Hello, fellow engineers, and welcome to Polybridge 3. Now there's a new weekly, so I guess we better have a look and hope it's not hydraulic-related alternator. What a swell day to sway. Oh my god, look how many hydraulic phases there are. Oh, this oh no, but they've used the G-Wagon. <laughs> I'm in the weekly challenge, that means... I I've got to try and complete it. Oh, I can't complete this. Look at it. It's mental. Oh, we've only got 12 bits of road as well. So I actually need to hydraulic it. So that's all of our roads. I mean, that's all the roads that we need, to be fair. We don't need any up the top, thank goodness. The question is, do these go at the same time? If both boats go at the same time, we're screwed, right? Let me just have a look. Let me just have... Okay, boats go at different times. Uh, okay, I got it. I got it. I got it. So like the camp van goes, then boat C goes. Okay, so camp van goes across. And then this boat will go. So basically, all we've got to do, we've got to build a bridge where those two, they sort of like get out the way. Then the boat comes. Then they go back. And then we just got to do the same on that side. Okay, that's not that's not too bad, is it? You've got 60 grand to play with. Right, so what I'm thinking, I should probably put like that in first. That's the bit that's going to have to move out the way. The other side needs the same as well. So that's sort of how the bridge has to work with something in the middle that is potentially attached. Something like that. Okay, let's just see. Is this top bridge strong enough? Yes, it is. And then for the hydraulic, that lifts up out the way. Oh, that does, that does not go high enough. That does not go high enough. But if I make this triangle smaller, that does lift high enough. So the boat just goes sailing past. Okay, so then that goes back down like that. And then Matt and Paddy. Oh, and they, they all come back at the same time. Okay, so if I copy that down to there boosh then we're sort of good the well we're not we're not but all we need to do then all we need to do is make this side lift up so i i can't have this basically all that needs to be replaced with this which is fine but it but it isn't because re remember we need we need to support this side so i think what i need to do i need to do some sort of some sort of support on this side that i can i can like out the way so it needs to detach from this so what i'm thinking if i go from if i do like a muscle to support there i mean i could muscle it out of hydraulics seems excessive is going to be excessive looking at the budget but yeah make that a joint make all of those ones all of those twos then on the hydraulic controller turn all those off there okay so this could potentially work Potentially, uh, I guess. Well, before I copy that anyway, let's just see. Does this top bridge still hold the camper van here? Yeah. Oh, look at the stress. It doesn't even get stressed. Okay, that's good. So now I copy this over to that side. And then on this first phase, I want to... Well, I just want to make sure like all of these actually go. So after this first phase, bridge should hold. I'm hoping that this will get out the way. Oh, hang on. Oh, I did my joint wrong. I did my joint wrong. They are meant to be twos. Okay, ready? Ready? So, oh, what happened? what happened over here? Oh, no. It's because my... Yeah, I've messed up. I've messed up. I was meant to support it from the middle. Oh, that's going to be really hard to do. I need to support this middle node, basically. So otherwise, this hydraulic has got nothing to, like, pull against. Let me just see, though. Would that... Okay, it wouldn't have worked anyway. Okay, back to the drawing board. Back to the drawing board. How about... I hate you ever made this putting a G-Wagon in. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> right, I'm actually, I'm having, I'm having a second thought. Stop pulling. I reckon pushing will be better. So if I go from down here, see, so I don't know, let's put like put a node like down there and then we make that, put, actually I want it, I want it to face the other way for some reason. I just like to do hydraulics that way around. So that pushes this up. So then if I just make this a truss to the middle, I feel like this will be a lot easier. Just We're just doing like a drawbridge. Like time to do things simply. Oh boy, they went a little bit too far. But can you see like what I was doing there? So if I can get this to stop like a little bit shorter. So like that, is that tall enough? Or is, oh, the top might just be clipped. Yeah, just make that slightly longer. And then I think... This left one now goes high enough that nothing is in the way. Okay, I'm just looking at the bottom one. I've noticed the boat sort of sticks out a bit more, which could be annoying. But honestly, I was thinking just just like dangle. <laughs> nothing wrong with dangling in this day and age. The trouble is, I think this bridge underneath is going to dangle to like the wrong point, isn't it? So that goes to there. Oh, no, it is out the way. 
It's out of the way. He's only gone and done it. Sort of. Just ignore that side. Okay, we're potentially in a very, very good place. The trouble is we've only got one rope in the middle. So how do I rope? Like this side is attached to this rope. This side doesn't have a rope. Can I just go from there over to like... Oh, I don't want it to fall down. Can I just go up to there? I'm not sure how that will hang once it's like... Once the drawbridge is up. Yeah, it just stays flat. That's no good. <laughs> So it's got to hang from the node above. But I can't add another rope because that's just the same. Oh, what I can do, I think. Can I do like a wooden rope? If I dangle that down like that. Yeah, okay. I think that's good. I've just, I've basically just put a wooden rope on top of a rope just so that they have different nodes at either end. All right, let's see. Let's see. Yes. Oh my goodness. He's done it. I mean, everything doesn't have to go up and down. I could, uh, I could make this stay down, but there's no, there's no harm it being up, right? That comes back down. They lock together, yes. And then, oh, is it strong enough? Oh my goodness. Did you see the stress there? Oh, it went up to like 98%. But that's out the way of the boat, right? Right? Yes. Oh, he's done it. He's done it. 26 grand. G wagon, G wagon, G wagon, G wagon. Oh my god. I'm 18th in the world. I don't know when this got released. It was probably like a few minutes ago. In the gallery, is there only one other? Oh no, there's loads. I thought there was only one for a second. Uh, we'll start by the lowest budget. See how I could have done this cheap. Oh, look at the hanging. Oh, actually, what the? That's how I did it. I mean, to be fair, that's only like four grand cheaper than mine. It's top 18. Actually, how many people have done this? Is that actually quite good? Yeah, look, 10th is 24th. Hang on. Around me. No, no. How do I? Oh, I can scroll down. At least 78 people have done this. All right, another... Yeah, it looks like all the all the sort of cheap ones, because all these are cheaper than mine. They all use the like... Oh, ooh, apart from this one. Hang on. Yeah, so these ones all do what I did. The sort of keep it simple, stupid one. Oh, actually, look how look how this guy did their... Oh, and this one. Look how they did their double... The double node in the middle. They did actual two nodes. Interesting. But yeah, this one does some crazy stuff. I think that's what I tried to do initially. Trying to like keep a bridge that can hold itself in the... I have no idea how you got that to work. It's cheaper than mine as well. What is that? What is that? <laughs> what am I watching? Why did it do... Oh, and then it just drops that last bit of the bridge. I was going to say, how are you going to get that bit out of the way? Just drop it. You don't need it. Oh, that's by Bolt. He's a developer as well. Fair play. Making the most of the stress, I can see that. Yeah, oh, look at these ones in the middle. I, I was not clever enough to do that, basically. But fair play. Brain came out with a banging one. Very similar to this, actually. Just uh, just dangle your bridge out the way. Just draw bridge it. Draw bridges are simple. This stuff is not simple. All right, what about this one? Oh, look, does... Oh, similar. They've got a little bit of an extra hydraulic there to, just to curve that out of the way of the boat. Anyway, the highest budget. What do we have? What? How is that going to get out the way the other side? I can see lots of hydraulics in there. Oh, it just does, it does one of those. Fair enough, Kiev. Oh, RCE equals poop. Oh, <laughs> hey, I'm top 18th in the world, Ryder Pie. I'm half your budget. Who's poop now? Don't answer that. Right there. Oh my God, what is going on there. It's like an alien spider crab thing. I mean, it works. It sure does work. I love I love hydraulic replays. I absolutely hate doing the levels, but I love the gallery. I know there's a hydraulic world coming up. <laughs> Can I just like look at all the other ones? Do I actually have to do it myself? Now, it seems like loads of people did this like spider sort of thing. It's not a spider. It's got six legs. But you know what I mean? They're leggy solutions. Right. Oh, what is going on? Is that a mess or is it clever? Is it a mess? Or I think it's clever. Yeah, it's clever. All right. What is going on? Look, there's hydraulic muscles and I don't know if they are clever or if they're... <laughs> is it just a mess of hydraulics and it just happened to work? Now, this one has one hydraulic. That's not allowed. That is not allowed. <laughs> What? One hydraulic. Oh, look at the truss. Oh my goodness. Look at the hydraulic work. How does that have the strength to stay together? Oh, we got another Linus Tech Tips one. RGB. Although last time I mentioned that, he did actually comment. I did a tweet about it. I completely missed it, but uh, he did just want to initiate. It wasn't him. That does not translate to Linus. Anyway, we have a campaign to finish. We're on the last level of the radical meltdown. Meltdown, sorry. It's three sheep difficulty. The level we're on is called Scaled Up. We've got 60 grand, a load of materials, and and what happens to... Oh, what the... F They've made a car? Have I got to get that car across? Oh, no way. No way. Okay, so we've got to get this car across the gap. 
But there's also a car coming the opposite direction. Oh, and that does have to end up here. Uh, so first off, let's let's grab the line tool. We'll do a line from there to there. We'll go push to fill it with road. And then since we got under support, so I'm thinking we do something like that, something like that, a bit of support over the top. And then let's just see what happens. They meet in the middle. And, oh, have I done it? Oh, I thought I did that then straight away. <laughs> that was nearly half budget, which is impressive for some people. All right, so what broke? That broke down there. Okay, well, for now, if I just, like, put a muscle in like that, that should make this twice as strong. It's the, the kadunk that does it. Oh, he's, he's completed the level. First time, mate. This campaign's easy. Oh, and I got top 16th in the world. Come on, guys. You got to do better than this. I should not be top 16th. I'm a thousandth in the world. How did Tyler actually do? Okay, he did it for 29 grand. I have a feeling this one's going to be a bit of a pain just in terms of the kadunk. But if we just watch. Oh, man, everything does go red. You cannot deny everything goes red. But yeah, right. Let's try and make this cheaper. So I don't think we need those steel. I don't think we need those steel. And I don't think we'll need those steel. But I think we will need this. This is like where the force actually goes. Uh, so what I'm thinking, if I swap this for a bit more of a smooth curve like that. Just put all the steels in like that. That's pretty much the same thing. But I've made like the middle bits wood. And then I'm thinking just... Do you rope down to there to hold this node in place and then balance those on there. So that should be fine. May want an extra node there. And then it's got to do similar over here. So rope down to that to hold that node in place. And then I mean, I could potentially get away with just doing a truss over the top. Let's see how weak this is compared. So that was good. That was good. Ooh, something broke over. Oh, you broke little bit of wood broke in the middle so I can lift that up to make it a bit stronger yeah actually that may need to be steel because that's like where the impact is so if you keep an eye on this back wheel boosh that was bad oh wait what why did that break you don't usually break still I can swap that with a muscle to make it twice as strong I might then get rid of that and just got that I mean could I oh I can't really reach over there I'm just wondering if I could get that in whether that would be strong enough we'll just watch with the stress on what happens down here oh it's fine 27 grand well now we need to do a bit more shaving so replace that rope with wood yeah that's all good can we replace like that with wood I imagine not but potentially a wooden muscle I mean yes but no, for some reason, putting a muscle up here made down here fail. But after a little bit of tweaking, that does now work. So where else can we put wood in? I mean, if you look at all these steel pieces, they do go pretty red. So I probably can't swap them. I could maybe make them smaller, though. So basically, we'll just move these nodes down until it stops working. And we'll swap things like the middle of that with wood. That can definitely work. Can this rope be wood? No. So this is my final solution. 26,734 quid. Top 10%. I think I'll take that. 667th. That was very close to being a bad omen. But uh, let's have a look in the gallery at the lowest budget to start with. How cheap did people do this level? Wait, what? 1,000... 1, what? <laughs> 1,234 quid. What's happening? Wait, what? Uh... <laughs> Okay, I'm not entirely sure what happened there. Okay, so this one, you can see there's a road piece there. And then one lands on the front and that just makes this go mental. Oh, this game, this game. All right, the first non-cheese solution is still a massive cheese. They've, oh yeah, oh yeah, sorry. Why did I think this was a non-cheese again? I don't know. I mean, this one, I'm calling the cheese solutions non-cheese now because they're not as cheesy as the vehicles just flying across the map. But yeah, dangly road, of course. Everyone, everyone dangled at the start. That's probably why I couldn't get too close. Oh, ooh, hello, hello. First one that is an actual, is an actual bridge. So that drives over the edge. You can see they've made this really steep. So that the... The kadunk is less, which means bridge very, very skinny. Look, 14 grand. That's insane. This one. Yeah, same thing. That's really clever, actually. Fair play. Oh, seems like everyone did it that way. I didn't even think to change my bridge from a straight. Oh, look at this. Razdazd with the RCE lowercase propaganda as we zoom out. And they've done a bridge like that. Nice. Anyway, my favorite, my favorite end of the gallery. Remember, this is the last level of the world. There better be some good stuff in here. We're starting with RCE propaganda. Can never go wrong. And then we're starting with... Uh, <laughs> 
a huge dog trio wearing a hard hat. I would love to see a Pokemon game where they put all the Pokemon in hard hats. Uh, question though, why don't the, the smaller two of the dog trios, why don't they have hard hats on? Question for you. Answer that one in the comments. Right, next one. We've got, oh, RCE. That is me. Oh, look, the car went underneath on its own separate road. I don't know why it's got like a rocket on top. Maybe it's a portable space launch system. This one. Oh my goodness. It, oh, whoa. Okay, we watch that again. A huge crane to drag the big car across. That was really cool. This one, shoddy bridges, perhaps, but look at the unshoddy foundation. That is the power of engineering. They did use an actual foundation in the middle, though. You probably should just use another one of those in the middle. Would have been way stronger. Alan, what is on <laughs> What is on your roof, Alan? This one, RCE you made me play this game. Hopefully, hopefully that's a compliment rather than an insult. But a nice little double bridge there. This one, oh, I prefer Nifty over coffee. So do I. I mean, who doesn't? The question is, where is Nifty? Where is the Nifty sponsored solution? Will Nifty ever return? I honestly, I actually don't know. Yonru, cheers for the RCE propaganda. Look at the the simple the simple arch. You can always you can always trust an arch. This one, where's the? Okay, that, that's where the budget's gone. Fair enough, fair enough. This one, we've got RC propaganda coming across. I don't know what just fell down there. I can probably guess what it was. Uh, farts are funny. Great username and a uh, great, great font you got there. This one, oh my. <laughs> Look at the trust work there. I'm sorry, but is your profession an architect? All right, wind. We've got a nice little cable stage bridge in the middle. I like that one. Pipe, we've got, ooh. Oh, they they did the cheese, but for like more expensive than you could have just built a normal bridge. Hi, Paddy. Paddy says hi. By the way, go check out Paddy's YouTube channel. I'm actually uploading like when I can. That was probably the worst advertisement I've ever done. But <laughs> what I'm trying to say is there's lots of Paddy videos you can watch if you go to the Paddy channel. Anyway, Payden's managed to get a suspension bridge in. Works absolutely fine. Uh, Monkey Burrito engineered a cable stay bridge there. I love to see that. You can see they've added extra weight to the bottom so this doesn't sway too much as the vehicles come over. That's really clever engineering. This one, oh, who's that? Is that Paddy? He's got a pee on his head. That doesn't mean someone peed on his head. <laughs> oh, look at the font. Jumbo size. Love to see those. And then do we have time for one more? I mean, let's... <gasps> It's the Nifty sponsored solution. Nifty, because when you've run out of Nifty, you never know when Nifty might appear again. Is this a sign to come for future worlds? Is this a sign that you should go buy Nifty? Yes, it is. But it's not super liminal messaging. It's just Nifty. Go drink it. Oh, and now I am pumped up. I've got Nifty pumping through my veins. Yeah, and I'm going to need that because we're going on to four sheep difficulty. Do we do generic or hydraulics? Honestly, I'm not sure I'm ready for hydraulics. But at the same time, it'd be nice to reward myself with like some generic levels afterwards. What I might do, I might do one from there and then one from there, then one from there, then one from... Does that sound like a good plan? Let's start with this. Steer clear, generic level, 71 grand. We have... Oh, we got a steamroller. We got to get them over that way. Well, this should be reasonably easy, right? Because I can just do boosh boosh make it a curve i mean if it can get up there that's the perfect curve boosh. so all i need is a bridge to support this right and i can probably do that over the top so if we have that we press play it definitely holds itself let's turn the stress on because oh boy how heavy is this thing steam 16 polygrams since when are steamrollers so heavy i've just realized what a steamroller is they they're designed to crush things aren't they okay well i can potentially just make these trusses bigger i imagine though i'm gonna need like steel and i don't like using steel for some reason so we'll try that we'll keep an eye on this stress oh man yeah <laughs> i mean instead of using steel maybe i could just I could just add like a wall brace down there. All right, let's try that. I've just added like a load of under support on the sides. We can see when the stress happens. Oh boy. Oh boy. We're going to need, we're going to need some steel on top, I think. I'm just worried all this middle piece may need to be steel. Oh my God. Even that early bit. That's got bracing underneath. Oh wow. Oh yeah. Okay. This whole middle bit is going to have to be steel. That's going to be pricey. 40 grand. If we watch the stress though, we are actually fine. Oh, 97%. No, we're good. We're good. So that's our solution for this one. I don't know where 40 grand is going to put us on the leaderboard though. Oh, top 10. Oh, take a top 10, I think. Tyler. Oh, Tyler did it for 35. Really? What did the cheapest people do it for? 26. Right. Well, something that surprised me was how much power this roller had. I mean, look at the horsepower. 
30 meters per second squared. So what I'm thinking, we try again with our curve. But what if we like, what if we go really high? Because we know like a taller arch is going to be stronger, right? And we can build up to up to that limit there. So if we do that, go boosh, then the actual road is going to add a lot of strength compared to what we had before. So if we then do our truss underneath, and we're doing it underneath because like the, there's no room up here. Like we can't build anything up there. So we truss under here. And of course, down the bottom, add a wall brace. Then we have that. We copy that to the other side, mirrored, of course. Add the key piece in the middle, boosh. And then we can see, can we do this in wood? Let's turn the stress on and see how this works. So, oh dear. <laughs> okay, maybe this won't work. But yeah, most of the stress is coming down the, the road now. Okay, do I need like support over the top? And then I feel like this one's going to be fiddly. So I'll tell you what, for you guys, it's engineering time. My bridges make architects go hard and they're like, it's better than ours. Damn right, it's better than yours. Engineering will win the war. My bridges make architects go hard and they're like, it's better than ours. Damn right, it's better than yours. Engineering will win in the war. Right, so this is what I came up with. We're we're just over 35 grand. I can't get it any cheaper. I've tried a few different curves, a few different bits and bobs. I'm intrigued to see how cheap this was done. So 299th, I think we beat Tyler. Yeah, we did. 26 grand. How did people save 10 grand on my design? We'll sort by lowest budget. And then, wait, what? How do they? I don't understand. How does that not break? How does that not break? <laughs> so everyone did under solutions they've sort of got a way flatter arch no one needed to do like trusses on the top i don't un how did i i don't like when i don't understand like razdaz even he got some rc propaganda in i still save like eight grand on mine oh and interesting look this guy they put muscles over the road to make the road stronger maybe i should have done that rather than like my trusses over the top although it's only like 200 quid cheaper than mine so maybe not anyway highest budget yay rc propaganda and upside down faces without mouths. Uh, more propaganda. Thank you very much. More... <laughs> More of that. Nice one, Alan. Ah, oh, baby waffles. It's like someone hanging up the washing. The RCE washing. Oh, look at that truss. Oh, that is what we're about. That might be the bilfiest solution I've seen to date. Oh, wow. Look at this <laughs> angle. That is really arty from RCE. It's like they combine art and engineering. And then, oh, that started with, with RCE propaganda. And they're hanging like two horses' heads underneath. And they chopped their ears off. That's horrible. Right, I've gone through all the names, like... <laughs> Unfortunately, no Nifty sponsored solution. So was it just a flying visit by Nifty? Or maybe they'll appear in the Twisted Turnpike, the four sheet difficulty hydraulic campaign. Oh boy, I'm worried. I'm worried. Okay, so what's going on here? Car stops there. Like with these hydraulic, I don't even understand like what this is on about. So car and bus both go at the same time. Okay. Oh, bus keeps on going through the star, but the car stops at the stop sign. Is that right? Tell you what, let's build a bridge. Let's try and work out how this actually works. Boosh. So when we press play, okay, they both go. Yeah, car stops. Oh, but then it goes again. What's the point of it stopping? I don't understand. <laughs> okay, it stops for a hydraulic phase. Okay, okay. So what I'm thinking, we probably we probably want like a second a second load of road on top. Do we? That seems excessive. But like I should be able to cat flap this. So if that starts down there, if I do that with rope, then this triangle is just supporting that rope. So I can then hopefully just truss this entire thing up and then add some support underneath. Maybe just rope on top like that sort of thing. All right, and then the key to this will be the bus getting up that slope, which it can't do at the moment. <laughs> Actually, yeah, look at the headroom. Look at the headroom our car has. So I can make that way lower, right? So now that's lower. The bus, oh, it still can't get up. Maybe it can when the car nudges it. Yes. Then the cat flap allows that three. Oh boy, the bridge did fail. Oh my goodness, what? The rope is where it failed? Okay, well, first things first, let's just make all of this lower because we know that it's too high at the moment. So it will do that. I'm thinking if I swap these out, I can probably just add like more support. So maybe something like that. I'll probably need supports underneath. We'll see. Oh wow, oh wow. <laughs> yeah. Let's just use steel for now under there. So this kadonk could ruin everything. No, it's looking good. It's looking good. Can it support the bridge? All those ropes? Yes. Oh, no. We made it, but the last bit of the bridge broke. I mean, could I just like steal that 
and delete that piece because that might be cheaper. Yes, the steel works. Okay, there we go. Under 30 grand. Wait, was this a hydraulic level? I didn't use hydraulics. I'm in the top 8%. I didn't use hydraulics. What did Tyler? Oh, I beat Tyler as well on a hydraulic level first time. I haven't even trimmed this. Well, to be fair, I'm, I'm fine with the top 8 finish. Let's see what the lowest budget solutions were. Ah, oh, what a shock. What a shock. It was dangly road. Oh, what the? The car goes under the bus in the... <laughs> oh, I shouldn't. I shouldn't encourage this sort of behavior, especially from people that should know better. Yeah, so everyone's copied Ghost Sagan there. Right, then we've got Minty. You've got Double Banana Bridge. Again, bus really bullying that car there. Now, this one isn't actually a dangly road. It's just... Oh, that's actually really clever. It's got this like little dip in it. So the bus drives over the car. Also notice hydraulic level. No one's used hydraulics. Oh, hang on. What's going on here? Look at the, the car has a ramp on top of it. So the bus drives over the car. Car comes out underneath and then... <laughs> Fair play, that's awesome. Let's have a look at the highest budget, though. I want to see some actual hydraulic solutions. Uh, there's none on that one. There is RC propaganda, though. Right, we... <gasps> it's the Nifty sponsored solution. Oh, and it uses hydraulics. Ah, I didn't see what happened. Right, panic, panic. Right, slow down, Matt. Slow down. It's just Nifty. It's not like he's a big famous celebrity and he's gone missing for a while and this is the first time he's made an appearance and it's really exciting and everyone's going to remember this for the rest of their lives. So looking at the bridge, RCE propaganda, semi-submerged in the water. That is important. That's to show he was drowning, but now Nifty, he's poked his head out of the water. Metaphors everywhere with Nifty. We've then got a ramp at the end. Not going to lie, not entirely sure why, but then over this side, this is where the magic happens. So car goes in, lift goes up, so the bus can come underneath. Ah, oh, I've realized why the ramp was there. Front flip for style points. And I was so excited by the return of Nifty. I forgot to do the Nifty sponsored bit. Anyway, next solution. Oh dear. Someone who won't go away anytime soon. It's Alan. 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 Now this, oh look, hi RC submerged. Ooh, hydraulic up to there. I like that. With a lovely arch over the top as well. Right, this one. Hi RC. Wait, that wasn't RC, that was Alan. <laughs> Alan's more popular than I am now. Hello, that man. Wait, what is going on here? Look at the hydraulics. Oh my goodness. Over the top. Catapult style. Ah, oh, Payden with the dual cable stay bridge. Love to see that. Little little rope cat flap at the end. All right, okay. What have we got going on here? So car goes through. Oh, road drops down. It drops down to a secret road. The road's hidden in the water. This person made cars drive on water. Oh, I tell you what, I'm actually I'm actually excited. For the hydraulic campaign only because the replays are going to be incredible like yes this one doesn't use hydraulics but it is pretty cool you cannot deny that All right well anyway that was a lot of fun i think this is how i'm going to do this i'm not gonna i'm not gonna like get stressed out with hydraulics i'm going to do one level then the other of these last two because they're both four sheep difficulties so that should be fine for now though i'm going to say peace love and nifty bye guys